Hey everybody, it's Shannon from Back Your Homestead and I'm going to show you what I've been up to. Um, yeah, it's clean. Getting ready for the winter time and um, trying to get a little more organized. Um, somehow this feed barrel got wet so I'm trying to get it aired out and cleaned. Uh, got the chickens eating some treats and uh, yeah, so there's all my strawberries and pepper. Okay, so I found this at an auction. This, I believe, is what they call a salesman's sample. It's got a wood box around it and then a handle on the side. So I guess he would, you know, go door to door and sell it or I don't know. Anyway, so I bought it for five bucks at an auction. I'm going to try and take that and put it in to my chicken coop on the window over here. Let me show you. So, because the one I have, like I said, I'm still working. The window I have is just a window that came on the shed and then we put in this plexiglass piece to block the wind. It's got a, a, a screen, hardware cloth, and on that it's got another screen. Um, but being it's winter time, I'd like to get a real window in there. And I think the dimensions of this window and that might fit perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go gather up my tools. And I'll bring you back for the install. Okay, so I got my tools. I got my new snap-on set that I got um, for breast cancer. I got my gloves. I got my drill. And the window so looks like it's a screw pretty simple Phillips takes off the frame um, so we'll see what uh see what happens we go to the other side and probably yeah see what the holding on the thing uh, the plexiglass window I made Hang on. okay so let's go ahead and pull the screen off Save this screen. Okay, never fails. <laughs> Battery died. So uh, I don't know how much you saw, but I got the ex the other window off. What are you doing up there, Spot? So there's my cat. Yeah. He uh, likes to walk on the chicken coop roof. Not sure if he wants to eat my chickens or not. But that's all right. So um, I'm going to go to the outside and I'm going to, as you can see, the window is a little bit larger than um, the opening that's here. So I'm going to go, I got a Sharpie. I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to cut uh, and mark it. Um, I think that's the best way to do it. Or um, I measure this part. You know, from here to here, they're there, and cut it. But either way, um, I'm going to have to figure it out. I do have a new tool, though. I bought a um, reciprocating jigsaw at variable speed, and I really like it. So it'd be kind of fun to see how it does on this. It should cut through it pretty good. It's just plastic. But, you know, I get excited when I get tools, especially when they're mine. 
Uh, I'm going to have to go quite a bit down, so um, I'm going to have to look. Now, I can cut the same width as this one because the window does extend past a little bit um, that shield part, so um, I probably will do that. Um, just mark down to the bottom of this window to where it is falls outside and then cut it, so I'm going to run out there and do that. so we'll go and I hit my head every single time on that solar light <laughs> never fails <gasps> as long as the chickens don't try to escape here she comes going for the door all right Let's see if I can get you guys set up here I really can't see Not level. There goes the camera. Okay. Maybe if I prop it against that thing and just. If not, y'all may go for a tumble. take the window off. I had it just temporarily in place with a couple screws. As long as I don't break the window in the process. Okay. So you can see my Sharpie line, hopefully. Um, I don't know if you all can. I'm hoping you can. Let's see. Oh yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. jigsaw uh some black and decker um i like it um i love that i can decide how fast i want to go um so i think what i'm going to do is get a level and cut down a little bit and uh I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my trusty ruler level thing. And what I did is I measured from this lip to this lip here. I don't know if you can see it from top to bottom. Not the outside part, just the inside interior part. And it was 25 inches. So from the top of the window down 25 inches falls about there so now I'm going to draw my line and from outside to outside of the lip is only 13 so we're looking at a small distance um, and I guess I really can't mess it up too bad um, I only got one shot at this I have to make it work so If I do 13, I 
Yeah. Um, I don't know why I didn't go over farther. I am no carpenter. <laughs> so, yeah. <gasps> okay. If this is 14 and a half, half would be seven. <laughs> yes. And all I did was use the bubble to make a straight line. <laughs> like I said, I'm no carpenter, but do the best I can. I am also left-handed, which makes things a bit more difficult. I don't know if this is going to cut. Hey, seems to be going through it quite well. Freaking everybody out though. Like I said, it's a simple, just um, cardboard or plastic. So now I'm going to get the corner and the corner the um, best that I can. tin snips if I have to or I'll just push it in so <laughs> okay. hmm. this will be another epic fail like my rain gutters off on this side but um, I'll have to see if the window's level because um, if it's not level then the window won't open and it looks like it's not level why wouldn't it be level hmm I don't know because I don't cut straight. <sighs> oh. Yeah, 
Why not straight to tall? Ooh. All right. Well, and I'll just put some screws in now. I was going to use screws. However, the screws can pull out of this really easy. So I'm going to use a bolt and a nut. Um, I'll pre-drill, then I'll put the nut and bolt in um, with a washer on the inside um, because I won't need a washer on the outside because of the metal trim. Um, so that is pretty good. I am excited, but what I will do is put some in temporarily to hold it in place. Reach my drill. Now, this is a Black & Decker as well, but this is the 20 volt lithium battery. I really like it. I also have the leaf blower um, that is 20 volt. So, I'm pretty excited. Um, I don't mind the Black & Drill, Black & Decker. I am uh, not a, you know, big carpenter, but uh, I think I am going to attach some hard wire to this even though this is a metal screen um, it's not going to be secure so I will probably attach um, some hard wire um, around the edge maybe or I might even affix it through where the screws are I don't know so but let's come inside and see hopefully y'all saw that which probably didn't but um, the window's in somewhat and I'll walk you through. I will have to go get my nuts and bolts and the drill bit, uh, a small one. So there's the window and oh, wait, I gotta lock the gate. Okay, so I don't know if you can see camera skills are lacking. Um, I'm going to be able to open the window just fine. I got room on the bottom. I can pull the pegs and slide the window up. So that's good. Um, I don't want to push on it too hard because I don't have um, the nuts and bolts in yet. So I'm going to go get my nuts, bolts, and my washers real quick and I will be right back. Okay, so I pre-drilled. I got a couple drilled in, so I'm going to go to the other side and push the bolt through. Um, width-wise, so I may have to run into the local home improvement store um, to acquire some new bolts. Um, unless I find my bit and drill. And you know what? I think I'm going to do that. Be right back. Okay, I got the right size, I hope. So if I can get past my camera. Oh, I just move it. Yep. Oh, too funny. Okay. Now I'm hoping that I don't break my window. Um, not anywhere near the glass, I don't think. So I don't know if this will work, but we'll give it a try. And 
Ah. It will work, I think. quite sure why that one's not going through, but we'll uh, see if I can drill it through. There we go. All right, let me grab some more screws. I'll do these other two once I get these four secure. So, as you can see, just a little bit of drilling. I got the bolt in, so now we'll go, or the screw in, so now we'll go to the other side and get the washer and the nut on. I think I'd learn after a while. <laughs> nah. Hmm. Oh, I didn't grab the washers that I need. I keep whacking my head today. Okay, so I got a, it's a little bit large, but it's what I got. I guess you really can't see, but it doesn't matter. You get the idea of what I'm doing. Okay, so basically I got to do that to all of them along the coop. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, I'm clumsy apparently today. bring you back when I got this these bolts in and uh, okay so I got the bolts on the bottom and I drilled one oh I drilled one for the bottom got the top and the two top ones in so yay okay I'll figure out the window <laughs> but uh, I got a working window um, I'm not quite sure how it works there we go so like I said, this is just a basic metal screen, and I'm sure a raccoon could definitely um, get through that. So I will go ahead and add some hardware cloth. There we go. I installed a window in my chicken coop. Um, cost me five dollars. Leftover screws and washers that I had lying around, and I will reuse the chicken wire that was on the previous one to cover the outside. And that's it. This is Shannon from Backyards Homestead saying thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>